All right, so we have a huge discovery today about Cyberpunk 2077, and it's pretty crazy how it was actually discovered, and it relates to the biggest secret in Cyberpunk to this day, the FF06B5 Easter egg that has been absolutely tormenting the Cyberpunk community. And this discovery was actually found in, guess what? The Witcher 3, thanks to the brand new next-gen update. There has been some brand new stuff added to the game, and it ties back Cyberpunk 2077 forever interconnecting the universes so this is a very cool discovery but we also have some really cool stuff to talk about Keanu Reeves as well and yes future updates including update 1.7 some cool stuff going on with that if you're wondering what's going on with the back end we'll have some information about that as well but yeah let's talk about this big easter egg a lot of you guys are curious as to what's going on with this one well this was recently discovered by Jason or it's Jacob I believe who contacted X Letalis, the YouTuber, and he discovered a new portal in The Witcher 3 after the next-gen update, which leads to a kind of a new dungeon, which leads to even more enemies that cannot be killed, and there is a big secret that he discovered. Check this out. Of course, it relates to FF06B5. There's a symbol on the wall, as you can see right here. What's really critical about this symbol is that it looks awfully familiar because it ties back to Night City. I kid you not. Check it out right here. If we zoom in on the statue in Night City, you can see that it is an identical symbol to what is in The Witcher 3 now. So that is very interesting. But also, I have to say that it kind of reminds me of the elements, you know, from fifth element i don't know why the symbol itself kind of reminds me of that but let me know if you agree with that or not i thought that was cool but anyway the plot thickens this is very interesting we don't have a final conclusion yet but i find it so fascinating that now cyberpunk and the witcher are forever linked with this big easter egg now i'm wondering if the final piece of this puzzle will be the next free update update 1.7 because it's interesting because they continue adding on to this Easter egg, but it's crucial to remember that they're doing it through free updates. Now, another theory is that we would be getting even more details about this FB Easter egg through, of course, the Phantom Liberty expansion, which could be the case, but there is a price tag on this. So I don't know if they're going to want to relate this Easter egg uh, to something that has a price tag. Maybe they will. Maybe it'll make people even more curious about Phantom Liberty. But I am so curious to see what happens with this now that the easter egg is in of course the witcher universe and what this will finally conclude to let me know if you guys discover anything hit me up on twitter you know you can contact me there if you do actually discover anything new about the ffb6 easter egg i'm so curious to see what happens but yeah if you are actually wondering hey robbie what is going on with update 1.7 well we actually have a little bit of news about that because yes CD Projekt Red has been busy in the back end of Cyberpunk 2077. Check it out right here. We have the Steam database page, which shows that, yes, three days ago, CD Projekt Red has been busy updating something internally and testing it out. I'm assuming this is update 1.7. So they are very, very busy on this free final update for the game. And then we're going to get Phantom Liberty and then the definitive edition of Cyberpunk 2077. Now, if you're wondering, hey, Robbie, what is included in update 1.7? Well, we do have an idea of what we can expect from that. Check out the video on my channel about update 1.7 if you did miss that so you can find out more. I'll throw that link in the description below so you can check that out. But we have got to talk about the man, the myth, the legend himself, Keanu Reeves, because we have some really cool stuff to talk about him. Check it out right here. We have Joseph Saber 945 who says this, my respect for this man has increased despite the turbulent launch of Cyberpunk 2077. The man didn't give up on the role of the best character in the Cyberpunk universe. I'll be honest with you, I was very surprised to hear that he is going to be in Phantom Liberty. That blew me away and it gave me so much respect for Keanu Reeves. You know, he could have come out public and said, hey, you know what? I'm not impressed with what CD Projekt Red did with Cyberpunk 2077, they really botched the launch of the game. No, he kept quiet. He kept a very respectful towards the situation and he let CD Projekt Red basically handle it. A lot of other actors would have come out and made a bit of a rustle, if you would, 
about the situation, at least I believe. And he was super professional. That's always how Keanu Reeves is. And uh, yeah, I cannot wait to see, uh, you know, his role as Johnny Silverhand with Idris Elba, who, of course, is going to be playing Solomon Reed. That's going to be super, super cool to see. Now, this is really, really cool. So check it out right here. It says, this semester, I wrote a research paper on the Cyberpunk franchise. And guess what? He got an A on this research paper. This one comes from Adi Wants to Battle. And this is so important because guess who replied to this one? You won't believe it. Mike Pondsmith himself. He says, okay, it looks like an interesting idea. Send me a link. I'd like to read it if you don't mind, Mike Pondsmith. Can you imagine getting a reply from the legend himself to read your paper. That would be absolutely incredible. In fact, you guys can read it for yourselves as well. It is about 18 pages. Check this out. It's called Corporation Corruption and Cyberpunk. And it's really fascinating. So well done, well put together. And yeah, it talks about a lot of stuff going on in Night City. And of course, it's corruption and corporation. So check it out for yourself. Come back to me and let me know what you think of it. And what would you give it as a grade? Would you give it an A plus, A minus, B, C? Sound off in the comments down below. Now, also, this is a discussion out there. One of the most talked about things going on in the cyberpunk community. Check it out. It says the first wizard says, am I missing something or should the power and tech icons be swapped? And everyone is in agreement that this has always been a little bit weird in the game and has caused a little bit of confusion. And here's the comment from the original poster. The first wizard who says, I've just noticed that the tech icon is of a bullet ricocheting off something like the power icon appears to be a charged shot. And then we have Lennox Lenny who says, thank you. And then we have Tesiano 75775 says, uninstalled, reported, PC destroyed, house burned, literally unplayable. Overall, a 7 out of 10. And then we had 10, 10 out of 10, a little something for everyone from IGN. <laughs> I love the humor. I think that's freaking hilarious. But yeah, uh, I think that's a little bit of a thing that needs to be updated in the future for sure. I don't think it's like on the top priority list right now for CD Projekt Red, but hey, who knows? They've surprised me with what they have updated with Cyberpunk. But all right, so now it's time to get into your top comments. Remember to leave a comment down below. It can end up right here in a future video. Let's do this. So my most recent video was this one right here. CD Projekt Red said, what? Oh, really? Plus the worst take on a, the next gen update. And that is of course, for the Witcher 3 next-gen update. Actually, there has been problems with PC. Let me know if you guys have been one of those players that have had issues with the next-gen update for the Witcher 3 on PC. Overall, I've been playing on PS5 and it's been amazing. Anyway, let's get into the first comment from Humanity First, who says, honestly, I would love to have a loot system in Cyberpunk like in Deus Ex, where every time you find a new hidden pe uh, place with stuff, it feels impactful and is not immediately overtaken stat-wise by what you find two minutes later. It's just a bit more balanced, as you are saying. And man, mentioning Deus Ex, I wanna see a brand new Deus Ex game, which apparently is gonna be something they're going to be doing, but it's gonna take uh, quite some time. Uh, now, Vlad says this, I had the exact opposite of what he was doing. The game was so open and made me want to explore it, and I kept finding stuff to do. So I tried doing them, and then realized that they were level scaled independently from myself and just got one tap every time. I was encouraged to explore, but I couldn't really do anything because the staff. So yeah, I think he's talking about, uh, of course, the Witcher 3 next gen update, if I'm correct. And then we have Daniel who says this, maybe not the Mantis Blades, but a hook that can stick to walls and take you there like the one Batman has. Could be a modification instead of Mantis Blade as that seems complicated, but the hook can just take you there, then drop you down and you could use that useless skill of hero landing that is rarely used and will make the cool builds. Yeah, that would be very, very cool uh, if they added some sort of grappling hook function. It would also make traversal a lot more fun, especially when we're talking about verticality in Night City. I think that would be cool if they added more traversal uh, at the top level of the city. Now, we have Team November who says this. Yeah, to me, the loot system was always kind of gonk. Always said status effects in Cyberpunk should have been tied to ammo type, not the weapon itself. Should be able to find or craft ammo types and be able to strategically switch between them on the fly. I hope Idris talked some sense into them. Can you imagine? 
Uh, but yeah, that also would be cool. It is a kind of a bummer that they do have status effects so locked into weapons because yeah, sometimes you don't want that type of status effect for a really, really cool weapon that you might love. It would be nice in the future if they could change that up. I don't know if they're gonna update the loot system based on the comments that Palos Hasco had to say in Cyberpunk 2077. However, I think that they're talking more about like the future of the franchise, perhaps alluding to stuff that they may consider to do and change for Cyberpunk the sequel, Cyberpunk Orion and that sort of thing. So I expect any changes to loot to come with the sequel. So we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, there it is. Delays happenings around. Yes, Cyberpunk 2077. I can't wait to see what happens with this weird Easter egg Cyberpunk slash Witcher uh, Easter egg that's going on. I'm so curious to see how it's now connecting to the Witcher. We'll have to see what happens and how this one pans out. If you have any information about it, hit me up on Twitter. Links in the description below. But thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more and I will see you all next time. Take care.